And it's not just tariffs that could cost you. China has started imposing tough new restrictions on recycled materials that cross its borders. Well, Denver 7's Megan Lopez shows us the ripple effect it's having on Colorado recycling plants. The process seems simple. Drop plastic, paper, even soda cans into a bin like this, and it gets recycled. A small way to keep Colorado beautiful. But what happens after that is... It's a pretty involved process. First, it's sent to a facility like Alpine Waste and Recycling to be sorted. Then all those goods are compressed into cubes and shipped somewhere else to be turned into something else. Some material will end up overseas and some material stays domestic. For decades, the U.S. and countries around the world have been shipping their recyclables to China. Just because they had that strong demand to make new products out of recyclables. But this year, China put a halt to those exports in two ways. First, limiting the types of recyclables it's willing to accept and excluding 24 new items. It's various types of plastics, it's uh, mixed paper, um, some type of scrap metal, electronics. Second, it set a strict new limit on how much contamination or trash can accidentally be mixed in. China is actually having inspectors go out and look at the recyclables to make sure that there isn't uh, other materials in there. Meaning recycling plants are having to spend more time, labor, and money to make sure that only the right materials are shipped. A cost that could eventually be passed down to consumers. If we get more residue or trash mixed in with the recycling, then the cost will have to go down to the consumer. For now, though, these groups are just asking Coloradans to do their part to recycle smarter. It was a pretty big wake-up call for everybody in the industry that we need to do a better job. Megan Lopez, Denver 7.